Hi everybody, it's Tina again, back again <laughs> from Hummingbird Tales. I hope I'm not getting on your nerves at the moment. Um, but anyway, I'm working my way through gifts that I've been given um, for Christmas and my birthday from some amazing artists. And today you're in for a real treat. This is a journal that was sent to me for my birthday from the amazing Janet Hicks, who we all know is sister of Andrea from Artie Mays. And um, Janet just completely blew my mind when I opened this. I had an idea she was doing something because of a conversation that we had back in the spring. Um, but anyway, without further ado, this is just something else. Um, this is a card that she sent me from Moon Pig, I think it is. Yeah, and it's an Edith Holden card. So I've just put that there for a moment just to cover this up so that you don't get your surprise ruined. Anyway, enough of the introduction, enough chatter. Let's get down to it. So let me just take this away and show you this. I have never in all my life seen anything else quite like this. So she said that this is like a woodland forest fairy journal that she's made. She's um, used, um, I think it was mushroom ferns and mushrooms kit by Artie May. So it's also a design team project um, by Janet. But my gosh, just look at the detail. I mean, I can't even imagine where she, where she starts to get her ideas. But she's got a very um, loose weaved burlap on top here. There's paint. This, I, I think it might be um, a plastic fern. But she's gilded it with gold wax. This is wood. And I'm thinking it could be um, eucalyptus bark, but I could be wrong because I know that she's got a eucalyptus tree in her garden. And for, for those gardeners out there, as you know, um, when your <coughs> eucalyptus trees get to a certain age, the bark peels off. And I've used it for some projects before as well. And Janet previously, a couple of years ago, made me the most amazing um, Peter Rabbit winter Christmas journal as well. And she used bark for the cover for the idea of the rabbit hole but anyway she's made a fairy door here if i put it on the oh sorry on the side you can see the definition it is just incredible and i i have no idea where she got these mushrooms but she's painted them um they're all glued on you can see i mean i don't know what she's made them out of but they are incredible and then she's got the burlap trim with the leaves and then this is the spine, which is about two inches, I would say, yeah. And she's got silver and gold, um, like paint going over that. And then this is the back, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's like you're looking through a little nook in the forest. I just absolutely love it. And I mean, it's incredible. And I mean, I'll show you the bottom. You can just see all of the textures. Um, I'll undo this just to show you the um, inside. I mean, she's put this a beautiful silk scarf on here. And look at this. It is just absolutely amazing. So without further ado, let's open this amazing book. Now, Janet said to me that her way in thinking, I don't think it's on, did she write it on the card? No, she didn't. I thought she did. But no, no, I remember now. It was in an email. That was it. Because after I opened this, I mean, it was wrapped incredibly. And she had this um, beautiful like window, um, I think that's a hydrangea petal. This and her um, eco-dyant was on the package and it was tied, I will show you because I've got it here quite close to hand. Bear with me, I'm gonna try not to fall off my chair. Her wrapping was amazing and 
it was tied with this amazing paper. I mean, look at that. So it's brown paper covered in birds and mushrooms and butterflies and acorns and frogs and snails. And this was tied around it, this crepe paper bow. Absolutely incredible. It really, really was. And uh, like I said, this was hanging off it, this beautiful tag. So, yeah, she said it was like um, an enter the woods fairy journal. And my gosh, the detail in here. Um, it's going to take me ages to do this video any justice. But, you know, you know what time is like. I don't want to bore people with my voice. So I will go through as quick as I can. But if I just leave it open like that, you can see for yourself the detail. I mean, she's got die cuts here that she, she's got some sort of paper underneath. She did say... This is all full of Grimm's fairy tales. So it's like a Grimm's fairy tale. Um, yeah, here we are. See, I forgot to pull that out. The complete Grimm's fairy tale book. And she's got flower fairies throughout this as well. And I think that's just a card, yeah. And she's used pages from Grimm's fairy tales book throughout all of this and if you can see I mean I haven't spoken to Janet in depth because obviously with the lockdown and I haven't seen her for oh my gosh nearly a year would you believe but you can see that she's layered up lots of different papers to make the pages it's just incredible so that's there we've got a die cut feather here which I absolutely love and <laughs> there's a little bunny face there peering over and look at this. This is um oh beautiful. A tree with a little fairy house and uh, a roof. Very similar to the fairy house that I got from Gita. And then this beautiful tag. Now these are felt. These little um, leaves here. Lots of inking. So it's just full of beauty this is. So I'll stick that back in there because I wanted to keep that in there. So, I, I, you know, it was just so lovely. And she's layered this. I don't know what it is, but it, it's falling apart a bit. But I'm leaving it because it's all hanging together beautifully. And then just look at the details. She's used sorry silk and um, sequins and paper flowers to make this undergrowth. And then here we've got one of the little bunnies from a Touch of Spring kit belonging to um, Artie Mays. And there's dictionary paper, lots and lots of layers, lots and lots of painting. This is a napkin decoupage. And this is one of the um, uh, CD, I think, cards or square cards from the mushroom kit that uh, is from Andrea's. Now, Janet might laugh when she watches this, but she had... Um, this oh, I've taped up his face she had this um, washi tape with four leaf clovers also on that paper so I've put it on a card and stuck that in there as well because I just couldn't get rid of it it was just so amazing and then the next page we've got this lovely little flower fairy here I mean the amount of work the decoupaging she fussy cut out so much all these fairies are fussy cut out this is a napkin decoupage that she's also fussy cut out after she did it, um, decoupaged it onto some of the paper. There's stamps back here, which are like little stickers. There's a little bird one in there, castle one here. And then in here, she's made a little pad of paper to do some writing on because this is very much full of embellishing. It's just amazing and collaging. And then here... She's got tied on here this little gem, um, gem, dangle. There's like a little, um, oh my gosh, eyelet here with jump rings. And she's tied a little tiny bit of lace. There's a paper flower, which is built up here. And then this gorgeous bead, which is like a little glitter ball. And again, more pockets. But look, this is just underneath. So she's made a tag here and as you adhered it to some paper, there's like a, a flower here and again she's used some sort of plasticky um, packaging and has put a die cut there. And look, she's even fussy cut out these little, I think she's fussy cut out the leaves. 
we're, even if it's printed on, doesn't it look amazing? And then look at these tags. So we've got a little flower fairy here. Again, she's cut out. I mean, it must have taken her forever. That butterfly is cut out. So that's a tag there. And then this one as well. You can tell that's been cut out. I mean, it must have taken her forever. Coffee dye paper on the back. It's just incredible. And then there is some places like this where I'm actually going to do some decorating myself. But she's put some stamps here. She's decoupaged there. This is coffee dyed paper with like a ring, you know, coffee ring print. There's a butterfly up there and a leaf. And then on this side, this is just incredible. If I hold this up, can you see? Excuse me. I have got a bit of a cold, as you all know. This is just layers and layers of different fabrics and doilies and things of greens and lemons and she's hung it off um, this jigsaw piece jigsaw puzzle piece and there's this little it looks like a ribbon I'm not entirely sure but there's a tiny little fairy's face there and she's got beads dangling off here and I just think that is correct incredible I would never have thought of doing that I love it and then we've got this pocket here which I'm going to decorate up and I mean, look, you can just see all the background work that's that she's done on this. You know, all of this detail here and just layers and layers of paper. And then look at that. Can you see? It's just stunning. So we've got this little scenery down here. She's got a pocket here from Andrea's kit. And again, she's layered up all these different fibres and bits of fabric, there's die cuts, there's a butterfly with a gem, paper flowers and the textures. Another little fussy cut out fairy here with flowers. And up here we've got a leaf that's been collaged onto some burlap and other bits and pieces. And I'll take that out and you can see a fairy there and she's literally reaching up and touching it. It was just brilliant, the detail in here. And this beautiful, beautiful card, journaling card. And then on this page, I don't know if I could somehow lift that off so you can, that'll do. So on this page, she's got this these beautiful trims that she's sewn on. This is a little image from A Touch of Spring. And then in here, again, this is all decoupaged. This is, it looks like an eco dye there. And she's got this little paper there, <coughs> excuse me, with a little fussy cut stamped B on there. Turn it over. I mean, it doesn't it look beautiful the way this is all layered up. So I'm, I'm just putting this in to try and show you the pages because it's just amazing. And she's got a little banner here from the mushroom kit and this is one of her tags and uh, this is um, collaged on absolutely gorgeous everything's sewn around bit of bur uh, string there just draping down and then we've got a butterfly a butterfly a fairy here with more flowers that could be a vellum one no I don't think it is but can you see the printing that she's done back here. So if this isn't eco dyed, it must be something that she's done by using plants or bits of flowers or whatever as a mask. And then you've got more of this paper, <laughs> excuse me, and then you've got more trims here, another little banner and another piece of paper with this beautiful owl. Oh, I'm gonna have to write something in here. And then I'm going to put this there. Is that? Yeah, that's right. Just look at this. Again, layers of silk and like doily to create an undergrowth, you know, like a garden. And there's the butterflies, all these little sequins here. Another die cut pocket. And I forgot to say, this is actually attached to this card. It's just, it's brilliant. And this is from Andrea's kit, um, A Touch of Spring. And then here, again, we've got this little fairy girl with a butterfly and the flowers and all this going on. It's, it's just fantastic. 
I am absolutely enthralled by this. <laughs> um, and again here, you can just see the way this all layers up together from page after page after page. She's got a little squirrel here. And this is from the mushroom kit. It's one of the pockets. And here we've got a tag that she's made. Again, she's topped it off with all of this beauty of sari silks and trims and little sequin flowers as leaves. And I think this could be a freebie from Andrea's Facebook group. And then this side, we've got the stamps again, and she's attached this big tag. So I've got a nice big space here that I'm going to do something on. Because I'm going to, again, I'm going to add a tiny bit of my artwork to this to make it mine. Um, this is feels like vellum. I don't know if it is or not, but I, I'm sure it is. It feels like it. And so you take this out, then you've still got all of this going on. This little fairy's looking up at her. She's looking down at him. He's wondering what on earth is going on. And the um, modelling paste and the stenciling, and it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And she's cut out all of this and it's sewn on all of these leaves. It's just, wow, amazing. Excuse me. So on this page, you can see it's still there's still tons to go. The detail again. She's layered. She's decoupage. She's put a fairy up here. I will glue that little bit of hair down. His hair sticking up on end. <laughs> there's um a stamp here, and this is another bunny decoupage that she's made a tuck spot out of. And I think that's really clever how she's done that. And again, we've got a little pad here of some different papers so that I can put something in there. And then we've got some more of this beautiful shaggy fluffy stuff. And then here we've got, um, these are die cut leaves and I can see she's been painting and stuff on here. That's decoupaged on. And we'll take those out of the tuck spot. Now you've got a tuck spot up here where this beautiful fairy is. And she's done some decoupaging on there little scrap bit of paper to write on it's just fabulous gorgeous colors and then here we've got another tag which i believe is from andrea's kit coffee dyed and all of this beautiful oh look at that can't even begin to describe it all it's just amazing and there's a little bit of um ephemera there and then here on this page She's got one of the Tim Holtz slot dies and she's added, it could be from a card or some sort of paper here. In the same moment, the seven raven something or other became seven handsome young and they all kissed each other. And this is all Grimm's fairy tales. Look, Grimm's complete fairy tales. Amazing. I'm actually looking at buying a Grimm's fairy tale book now so I can actually read it because it's been an ever such a long time. And, and these are little tickets from Andrea's kit. And this is something that and Janet's made. And then look at these weeny, weeny, tiny, tiny envelopes. So I'm going to have to find something to put in there. And this one. This one's, yeah, made of card. And it's green polka dot paper. And they're just absolutely beautiful. I love it. Oh, look, we could read the whole page. I won't stop and read it now. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I just feel so incredibly blessed, you know. Um, it, this is just incredible. And, and look at this. So this has all been fussy cut out. Layers again, all stuck together to create the pages. She's got this, it looks like a leaf trim. And then down here, she's put the, um, you know, you get that twine with the leaf ribbon going through so this might be the middle I don't know I don't think there is a middle to this I don't know how she's sewn this in actually no that is one signature and this is another and I think there might be it could just be two but this one's a lot thicker um, so here again we've got all these fussy cut out flowers which matches in with this fairy and this beautiful die cut butterfly that she's put some gems through and look at this like a little owl in the background in a little tree that's what that is saying to me absolutely brilliant and then here we've got more of the page and a fairy and then here she's created a little scenery 
I just think this is so enchanting. All of these fabrics and again sequins, there's some fabric roses, there's some uh, die cuts, paper flowers. She's got wooden mushrooms here. Then there's a die cut of this tree and there's this little flower fairy and the owl up there. It's just beautiful and that's a tuck spot for another tag and this gorgeous journaling card. Now does that open? I think it might do. No, it doesn't. It's just me being thick. Um, another beautiful bird, absolutely gorgeous. So there is plenty of room to write and I could even scribble in there if I want to, but oh, I don't know if I could even touch this. It's just so stunning. And then here, as you can see, we've got a pocket and in this pocket we have got a tie and she's got this tiny little like vellum sticker here of the fairy and I don't know what that is but it's on some beautiful paper I'll stick that back in there and then we've got another little scenery here of a little hair that's been decoupaged on with this little fairy and that's a tuck spot for this gorgeous tag but you know just look at the work she's put in all of these backgrounds there's painting there's inking decoupage it's it's just gorgeous absolutely stunning and then here we've got another page that she's got a um oh my gosh i can't speak a book page here and she's adhered this tag to it which is so layered up it's unbelievable she's got all sorts going on here there's some edith holden back there this is i think a die cut and she's sewn all around that twine up here and this little reminds me of a song thrush and then on this side again she's this is so cleverly done she's got another piece of book page here and then she's got the fairy on the half on the tag and half on the book pa page it's just gorgeous a little butterfly there and uh excuse me um, a little tuck spot again made with some paper and another die cut and isn't that bird gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so we've got a little tag there and on this side here now this is very clever i mean just look at all this eye candy she's got all of these different trims and texture pieces going down here with yet another of her amazing jigsaw puzzle um, dangles so we've got beads here and buttons and uh, yeah these are just amazing absolutely amazing so she's got on this one she's got some bulb pins with little beads and buttons on dangling off and that's um, a gold um, bulb pin there and there's a little die cut butterfly this is a die cut on top and then under here you've got like this and this is like a little um, window which is made with some sort of um, acetate and this beautiful fairy lady here and again she's fussy cut that out but isn't that lovely so you can choose to put it in so it's a window I, I just love it and then again she's done all of her inking and stuff on these pages there's a little weenie telephone down there on the side <laughs> so cute love it absolutely love it and on this page, again, we've got another corner tuck in here with a flower fairy and this looks like a little tree. And this is um, some decoupage here. And this is a little tuck spot for some more of the tickets from Andrea's kit. And this has got a little um, tuck spot on it there with the banner and the little bumblebee. I love that. And on this side, we've got another page. I mean, wow. There's a paper clip holding something in over there, but it's just the way she's cut all these flower fairies out and layered them. I think that could be a bit of modeling paste there or gesso. She's got one of the tickets down here and this is so soft. Absolutely lovely to touch. And there's a button there on some layered up um, doily. And this is the centre of this signature. And doesn't this look fantastic? So to me, this could, to me, be like inside of a tree looking out. 
you know, I just love all this dark brown and the way she's contrasted it with this light lemon and the buttons. She's got bits of twine here. And then here we've got one of Andrea's, if I just take these out a moment, I'll just slide them out. The back, I think that is a vellum, you know. So clever, absolutely beautiful. And then these are the tags from Andrea's, I think this is from her freebie, <laughs> excuse me. Um, she's got like a freebie page of tags that went with her kit. And on here she's got for you in the most tiny weeny little letters pinned on with a little um, tiny paper clip there, the most minuscule one. And then on this side we've got this beautiful mushroom one there and there's a little tag hanging off there as well. Just stunning. Whoopsies. No, I'm going to mess this all up, aren't I? No, I'm not. There we go. Again, and that's the back of it. So we've got another little flower fairy and she's leaning over from this plant looking down. Another ticket. This really soft, crinkly, um, I don't know what it is. It's like a nylon-y type of silky thing. And then here we've got some lovely writing space. So we've got a line page, again, decorated with the flower fairy. And she's put glitter on here. Some decoupage up there. Oh, and there's a little hummingbird sticker here. And again, she's used all these bits of twine. Just gorgeous. And then look at this rabbit here. So she's got this cut out of a bunny. She's made a little tail with a bit of um, some sort of fibre. She's got friendship there. And this is a fairy from a, um, oh, excuse me, I'm trying to think, napkin. And again, up here, she's tied this little bow onto another, um, what they called, eyelet. And that's adhered to a page here. And there's all of this wonderful stuff hanging down. It, I think it might be a cheesecloth. And you turn it over and she's got another beautiful dangle here that she's made with a paper clip and a jump ring. She's got a flower here. If I move my great big hand out of the way, you can see that. And the little bead. And there's this little baby fairy here looking up at it. Oh, it's just... My imagination in this journal is just crazy. And we've got a stamp there. And then another page here that's got this pocket. And again, she's just used so many different techniques to get all of these effects. And there's a little frog there, sat down, watching the fairy boy. Some paper flowers. <laughs> His expression is so funny. And then in here we've got this. It says catch a glimpse there. That looks like an old, um, like, inside of a book, actually. I could be wrong, but uh, it's fantastic. Again, we've got all these little, it's just all these little touches, burlap here, and we've got some of, of her um, stenciling and all done there, some decoupage, some writing space, or I'm going to, I'm going to create a scene there, I think. And then here we've got another Tim Holtz pocket, um, but we've got this lovely green um, doily that's there. And this is backed onto some paper again, some book page, and we've got all these little bits and pieces in here. That's one of um, the tickets from Andrea's kit. I'm going to lose all this now, aren't I? Let's just try and... Um, oh, look. There's a little um, card of a squirrel in there. That's from Andrea's kit. I do love the, um, the toadstools, mushrooms and fern kit. I love it for summer. And then here... We've got the most tiny weeny. It's a little tiny like envelope pouch. Weeny is anything. And another little tiny weeny envelope there. It's just so cute. More flower fairies, stamps. That's Edinburgh Castle there. Somewhere I would love to go, I've never been. And then here, I think this must be the centre of this signature. Oh, I keep saying that, but I don't know. Oh, no, this is signature number three. Got it. So this is the end of that signature. 
but it's clever because it, it all goes into one, doesn't it? It just carries straight on. And those beautiful faded pictures of the flower fairies running amongst the flowers. And we've got some numbers here. And here we've got another silhouette of a rabbit that's acting. Is that? Oh, no, that is actually attached. I nearly tried to pull that out. But I could tuck something in, in there if I wanted to. Oh, he's so lovely. And then here, oh, just look at this. Again, we've got this beautiful, oh, it's just so soft. And she's made another beautiful scenery using lots of layers of different cheesecloths and silks and decoupage um, cutouts of these fairies. There's flowers and she's decorated the middles with sequins and there's cheesecloth. And this is one of the pockets from Andrea's kit. And then here we've got a layered tag. Now this is a little um, decoupaged tag. This is a little hedgehog because um, Janet very kindly gave me a couple of these um, uh, napkins. And then we've got a stag here in this frame. I love stags. And uh, this is like a little leaf. If I can get it down. I've caught it up there now. Oh, there he's going down. Leaf shaped um, metal framed piece with some paper in there. So it goes in there. And then here we've got again, we've got this um, fairy that she's um, faintly there on this book page with her toadstools. And again, look at all of this fabulous texture that Janet's just added. And then we've got this, which is made out of one of the be one of the pages of the kit and this green leafy stuff that she's got in the middle of the signatures and the uh, all of this it's just beautiful oh and this opens like that it's so lovely and then here we've got a few pages left we've got another like tag pocket there's a window here. She's got a little um, ladybird crawling along here. <laughs> I love it. And uh, there's a little library card here. And there's this little cutout boy uh, fairy. And again, Janet has put another one of these beautiful little dangles on that she's made with paper clips. And there's a bead there, a little bit of a doily and all this fibre. And inside we've got an Edith Holden thistle. Um, page that she's used on here to create a tag and that's burlap and she's sewn that burlap I believe to stop it from unfraying that's a good idea and there's um, decoupage in the back there and then on this side we've got another very layered up um, pocket with this dear little fairy boy here I mean there's papers there's die cuts there's a little paper flower here and she's got, I don't know if she's heat embossed this, but can you see the little fairy's face? Look there. That's got like a gloss to it. And then in here we've got one of the little tickets from Andrea's kit. Yes, that is all attached there. I just, I got to be careful because I'll end up pulling something that I shouldn't. And then look at this this i just love the colors that she've used so we've got oh, i love this mossy greeny color there's sun like a flower dye here that she's turned into sunflowers with these little middles and some more die cuts some more different layers of doily and it looks to me like this little bird is looking up at these flowers and then that's the tag that she's made it's just so magical. I think, yeah, magical is what I would describe this as, definitely. And then here she's got another of her jigsaw puzzle dangles with a few little sequins, a few little beads, some copper wire. And look at this dear little face here, this little flower fairy. It's just beautiful. I keep saying it's just beautiful. <laughs> and then here... Janet has made the silhouette of a, a bird. We'll, we'll say it's a robin. And here we've got, don't, 
adopt the pace of nature her secret is patience and that is so true and she's again layered up flowers and different fabrics and bits and pieces to create this tuck spot and I'll pull all of this out so you can see all of this work here and in this pocket we've got a blank tag for journaling or creating a picture on we've got this which um, this tag which she's you this is like a collaged piece on top of a tag and she's got some um, doily here and this is a little round disc that is from Edith Holden and just like little scrappy bit of um, sorry there with a little bell and all of this it's just lovely and the colours it's just all woodlandy isn't it and there's a bit of music paper there does that open no it's just nice thick card with a sticker on there and then this is a li another little teeny tiny like pocket envelope that she's just put in there like that it's just great brilliant and then here we've got another one of oh, another page that's got all of this beautiful trim on it and there's another little banner here and this is a little journaling card of eggs and then on this side we've got a paper clip here holding this tag in uh, there we go it's lovely absolutely gorgeous paper clip and she's done another one of these and I love this idea I think it's gorgeous so pretty I I'm gonna have to do something on this tag um, maybe add a rabbit or something and do some decoupaging you know and I've got some room there as well so there's plenty of room in this amazing journal for me to write or decorate or you know add to it and here we have another little journaling card this is from the ferns and mushrooms kit coffee dyed and again we've got like a belly band that's been put on here as a pocket as a tuck and all these little stickers and then here again we've got some more of this hmm, trim i don't know that one <laughs> sorry that was my alexa going off on one <laughs> sorry about that um so there's lots of room here for me to do some bits and pieces too and again she's she's used some of the page from Andrea's kit to create like a little tuck this little butterfly here with the gems and all of these different dyes it's just lovely I just love it I love it love it love it and then here we've got another um, silhouette of a bunny now I think she's decoupaged on this one she's got all of this trim and texture again I mean you've got paper and wool and all sorts going on here and there's another beautiful jigsaw puzzle charm there this time with teal um, eyelets and there's another little fairy fairy's face there and she's got beads hanging off this one just love it and then in here oh, just look at that how gorgeous is that image and that's little bunny being kissed there and that's all been layered up and sewn just amazing and she's got a little fox envelope in here so I've got oh there is something in here there's a little card there for me to decorate I think with this one I'm going to put quotes in it um, fairy quotes and things children's story type things you know and maybe some poems and pictures I'm not going to write as in write essays and all in here and this is another beautiful tag that Janet has made and has attached it to this book page and it oh I don't know if there's wax on here it feels like it but it's just beautiful there's just so much going on you know all these little details the little gems the flowers the cheesecloth and then on the other side here we've got a vellum um, pocket here with this butterfly and that's all sewn and attached together and that houses a little tag that looks like the window of that little... Do you remember the tag at the front, which was like part of a fairy house? That seems to be another part of it. And that goes in there. I love that. That's handmade paper there. And we're getting to the back page. Now, this here, 
I've put in here because this was also attached to the front of the parcel. You can see where she stuck it on. It was stuck like that. And then I had the other tags coming off. And there was no way I could just, you know, get rid of that. So I've decided to put that in here. Um, I might decide to put it there. I don't know. But for a minute, I've tucked it in the pocket. And then here she's made a lovely um, pocket with this fabulous um, napkin. This is my favourite napkin, which I've only got a couple of bits left now with these bunnies on. And uh, again, all the background pages. She's used, um, I think she's used modelling paste there. And but there's a die cut up here. And then we've got another huge tag with this beautiful fairy that's been cut out and stuck down. I love this paper, it's beautiful. So yeah, I might just stick that there like that. I might just pin that in. And then here's the back page of the actual um, signature. And again, we've got a mushroom piece here from Andrea's kit and all of this beautiful, um, well, embellishing, I'm just, just gonna say, because it's just so much to look at. And there's a little piece of paper here, oh sorry, with um, a butterfly on for me to do something with. I mean, we've got the fern in the background there. Push that down. And then here again, we've got this little piece of fabric here. I'm definitely going to put something on here. And that's a tuck spot for another one of these beautiful tags that Janet has embellished. Just stunning. And that slips in there. And then at the end, we've got here again, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. And then at the back, we've got Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. And that says Handmade with Love on it. It's just gorgeous. Wow. Well, Janet, look, that's made with um, handmade, like a card. Janet, I absolutely am... Um, over the moon in love with this amazing amazing journal it's taken me back to my childhood um i would have loved to have had something like this when i was a child but i've got it now and hey being an adult just means you're a bigger child than being a small child and uh, i think you can all agree that this is just the most stunning piece of artwork and i just wish you could hold it it is just incredible so there we go. So I will put Janet's channel um, down below and also I will link in Andrea's fern and mushroom kit. That's a bit of silver there from what I've been doing. Um, uh, because that is for sale on our Etsy and it is an amazing kit. If you haven't got it, I recommend you get it because you can mix and match it with so many kits and you can use it for all different times of the year and all different themes and all. But anyway... Thank you for bearing with me. I know it's been a long video, but uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed going through this again to show you all. Um, it is amazing. Um, Janet, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is just fantastic. And uh, you guys, you all keep safe. Stay well. We're still locked down in the UK. We're not really sure until when. But uh, just remember, guys, that spring is on its way. It is going to come and there will be brighter days ahead. So anyway, thank you for watching. Be back again very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.